All right. Kayla is the daughter of Reverend Kenneth and National Sales Director Bridget Shaw. She started her Mary Kay business in 2016 as a 21-year-old engineering student, 21-year-old engineering student looking for extra income, but what she discovered was God's purpose for her life. After a tragic house fire that they had in their family, she paused on school and pursued her business full time. Within four months, she promoted herself to the top 2% and became a brand new sales director, debuting in October of 2017. She has broken lots of records. She's also the youngest car driving director in Charleston, where they live. Um, she has graced the seminar stage several, several times. Um, and it, I love this fact, too, that one month, Kayla added 31 personal team members to her team. 31. That's more than a day. That's more than one a day, Kayla. <laughs> oh, man, Lester was the month. That month was 31 days. Okay. She and her unit has earned five beautiful cars and they, her highest check has not been written yet, but the one they've paid her so far is in excess of 19,601 month. Well, she's broken lots of records and this year has been an, an impressive year for her. We will see her grace the seminar stage in just a few weeks. Her favorite Bible verse is Mark eleven twenty four. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received and it will be yours. Please give it up for amazing Kayla Shaw. So girl, go for it. Oh my goodness. Hi everyone. I am so excited and so honored. And I just want to thank you so much, National Janice Trude, for working with me. It took me a minute to get here, right? A minute. But I am so excited to just share my journey. And you have to forgive me for not having on my beautiful tweed jacket, but you know directors are so hot in our jackets. Um, and so I just want to share with you guys transparently about being a second generation Mary Kay baby. I always tell people I started my Mary Kay business when I was one. Can you get excited? Can you get excited? And so growing up in Mary Kay has been just a phenomenal journey. You know, watching my mom, I didn't really know what was going on when I was a younger woman, um, but I knew that she had such class. I knew that she was so passionate about what she was doing. I saw women in and out, in and out. I worked with her, you know, at the studios and at the hotels when she hosted her many events you know I would give cookies I would help set up and help help break down help greet so I saw all of this happening but I still had not grasped what you know Mary Kay truly was um but the one thing that stuck with me besides those pink Cadillacs y'all I thought I was a princess growing up okay besides the pink Cadillacs but what stuck with me was those relationships right but also the lifestyle that my mom was able to create. And she's such a humble woman, y'all. She is like the bomb.com. But one thing I love about entrepreneurs and specifically Mary Kay entrepreneurs, you don't have to sacrifice your family for success and you don't have to sacrifice success for your family. That is impressive to me now that I am um, growing up. I don't like to say my age, but now that I am growing up and I am my own woman, and just seeing what she's been able to create. And you know, what's funny is growing up as a national starter or second generation Mary Kay baby, a lot of people think, oh, you've got it made. Like, oh, you know what to do. Let me tell y'all something. My face did not look like this starting Mary Kay. This is something that I have recently figured out. So get excited. You do not have to know how to do makeup, a lick of makeup to be successful with Mary Kay. Okay, a lick of it. Um, but what I experienced was shyness. Um, I actually grew up, you know, I always say when you have a mom that's alpha and powerful and confident, you are often like opposite. <laughs> so I was very timid and, you know, nervous of speaking in front of rooms. And to go from that to be requested at seminar in front of thousands of people, y'all, to speak on the main stage, I'm freaking out, but I'm so very grateful for the opportunity that people even want to hear my story, right? Um, so, Crowds and, you know, being a businesswoman, none of that was comfortable to me, but it was impressive, the lifestyle that my mother created for herself. And so let me back up. Um, National Janice shared my story a little bit from my bio, how I started as an engineering student. Um, but I will be honest, 
Mary Kay wasn't the thing that I ran to at 18. I was not that Mary Kay daughter. I didn't, and for those of you who don't know, you have to be 18 years old to sign your Mary Kay agreement and start your business. Well, that was not me. I loved what my mom did. I admired her. I admired the Mary Kay opportunity, but I was a rebel. I started um, my journey at the University of South Carolina because I wanted to study engineering and create skincare and makeup and work with Procter & Gamble. Such a rebel, right? Such a rebel. Look at me now, selling skincare and makeup. Still the same field, I would say. Um, but she got really smart. They have this you know, stigma that Mary Kay is for old people. I like to say Mary Kay is for all people who decide that they want more and they're open-minded and willing to go and get it, willing to go and get that more. But she got really creative and she started breaking those barriers and stereotypes that I had of Mary Kay, right? So she started showing me videos of these young ladies that were in college and working their businesses and earning cards. And it's one thing to see it with your mom. Y'all know it. Y'all know it. Anytime that your mother is sharing things with you, it's just like, oh yeah, great, great for you. But I was very impressed to see that these women were walking similar paths and what they were able to create. And so I decided, because I was working a part-time job um, in the hospitality arena, and so anyone that is familiar with hospitality, the hours are crazy, okay? And it was not very flexible, and I was studying engineering. So I wanted more flexibility, um, more money, and to be able to have a little more social life, right? A little more of a social life. And so I started that business, or this business, I should say, with just the thought in mind to replace my part-time job. That was it. I was not thinking super large at all. And I also thought, well, why not help my mom? So in the middle of all of this, I always have this saying that, you know, when you decide to take a quantum leap, anything that can go wrong will go wrong. It's crazy. My mom decided to take that quantum leap. She was a sales director. I think she was a senior guy. So any of the ladies on here um, that need some hope, she had two directors at that time. And she made the decision to be a national sales director, which is 20 directors. So most people are like, oh yeah, she's out of her mind. Well, she made that decision. And I kid you not, I had gone to my first seminar. It was very exciting, um, like the Grammys, but with a pageant twist and like a super amazing concert. It was phenomenal. For those of you who have never experienced seminar, you've got to go. But that is where I caught my vision of what Mary Kay truly is. It's one thing to see Mary Kay, you know, on a local scale. I have a few guests on here who are my girlfriends and they go to the gym with me. So they see the pink cards, they see us on a local level, but they probably have no idea that women are seriously making careers out of this Mary Kay thing. And so that is what the exposure did for me. It made me realize how glamorous it was, um, but how hard these people worked in their businesses and the income they could gain and just Mary Kay in its depth. OK, and so what I decided at that, after that seminar was to run with my mom. I had started the business to play and make some extra money, but I decided right then and there, oh, I'm going to do this, mom. I'm going to do this. So exciting. So exciting. And I kid you not, we came home. We had a quick family vacation in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I live in Charleston. And um, packed our bags, came back home. We didn't get home until about 2 a.m. By 2 p.m. the next day, our entire house was burning down to the ground. It is something that I never wish on anyone. I was actually in the house, but I got out, me and the two fur babies. Um, no one else was home. But what was really interesting is it was on summer break. And I had moved out of my apartment complex on campus because I was looking to move into a nicer one when the new semester started. So literally all of my belongings were at home in that fire. Let me tell you something. I was getting ready to call my mom or excuse me, my mom was getting ready to call me to tell her, you know, to tell me just stay for a day or two longer. You know, you'll have time to, you know, get settled in school, but don't leave today. We wanna hang out more with you. And I missed that call. And the next call she received was me bawling on the other end, literally saying, mom, the house is on fire. I could not imagine that moment for her looking back. Um, but I will just say 
that it's just stuff. I'm so extremely grateful for our Mary Kay family. I don't know if anyone was around to hear of that back in 2016, but the way that our Mary Kay family showed up, Mary Kay replaced me and my mother's starter kit, our Mary Kay attire because she was an, an elite at that time. I, no, 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 she was only a senior, but they replaced her director jacket. They replaced my red jacket. Um, they replaced some of our inventory. Like it was amazing what they did, right? But then the Mary Kay sisterhood, they just started sending gifts and asking for our sizes and sending money. And the local directors literally showed up while our house was burning down just to be there for support. It, I never seen anything like it, right? And so the sisterhood is something that is real. It is so real. It is so real, so real. And so fast forward, the house was beautifully rebuilt. Um, all is well and no lives were lost. But I decided to pause on school. It was a bit much for me. I did not realize the toll it had taken. So I paused and I had this Mary Kay business sitting here that I didn't get a chance to do much with, hence starting and literally having a fire right after seminar. And so after starting my business the second time, deciding, you know what, I'm really gonna do something with it. I'm not in school. I definitely don't wanna go back to the hospitality industry. So let's make it do what it do do what it do, right? And so within four months, I earned my first car and I have not looked back. We just recently picked up our first pink Cadillac. I am so very grateful, so very grateful because earning a Cadillac, ladies, is not just you. And we know that those of you who are in the business, but when I think about the connections that I have, those two offsprings that National Janice shared, they joined last year of September and the second one joined in November. They are both car driving sales director and have had paychecks already of five and $7,000 in one month. One month, ladies, with their Mary Kay business and, and one of them still works her full-time job as an engineer. She loves what she does with this business, right? And that's Miss Taisha Nick who's on here. Hey, girl. And so I just want to share briefly some of the things that I've gained that are not just the cars and $19,000 paychecks. Oh my goodness. Can you believe that in your 20s? That kind of income? Like, I just want you to sit there and imagine for yourself. It doesn't matter what age you are. But imagine that someone dropped, dropped 19, not someone, but Mary Kay, let's be real. Mary Kay dropped $19,000 in your account this month. And then I want you to think about August. They do the same thing. And then what about September? They do it again. So it's not a one-time thing. With Mary Kay, you really can build executive income. And it is so freeing to know that I did not complete my college degree. I did not wear makeup at least well, okay? Um, I was very shy and I was definitely that rebel. I was stubborn. I thought I had my whole life planned out. And so if I can do it, you can do it too. But some of the things that I've gained was the maturity. I grew up in Mary Kay. I will say there's so much more than learning business experience, but what about your relationship with Christ? I'm surrounded by women who are so sharp, women who love Jesus, women who are kind, women who know how to manage their money. And so if, the, if you have four friends like that, you're going to be the fifth right? So I'm just like, oh yeah, I'm scooting right, right up in here because I want to be the kind of woman that y'all are, right? And so what about the confidence that I've gained to go from barely making it through my speech class in college to actually being able to speak in stage in front of thousands? Now, have I done that before? No, but we're going to make it happen. We're going to make it do what it do, right? But just having that opportunity with Mary Kay is so incredible. Um, what about image? You know, I've grown my image. I feel like you are iron sharpens iron. And so what better way to surround yourself with women who not only are beautiful outside, but inside, right? They challenge you with the fashion. It's like, okay, change this, do that. Like, okay, how can we make each other better? And so I love the whole self-care aspect in Mary Kay. Some people join the business because they realize 
I've been taking care of my kids for the last 18 years. I want to look like I come first for once. I literally had a group of women connect with me saying that. I want to look like I come first. And we did a whole beauty session and they bought everything and they felt so confident and so beautiful just taking a moment for themselves to be pampered, right? And so I would say that Mary Kay is the best self-improvement course that you can take. And it's the things that you don't expect that are the most valuable. Um, speaking skills that you gain, that you can take with you in any avenue that you choose. Mary Kay might not be your forever thing, but I definitely say there's skill sets that you can gain that can take you to your next. So I just want to share this fact with you as I wrap up. Only 89% of women in this nation make six figures or more. 89% in 2024. It's 2024, and I say that. It is 2024. They're on TikTok and Instagram making like 500000 and and making like just buku money because they are influencers and they have followings and they're dancing and they're sharing different products. We were taught growing up the whole go to school, get a degree, work a job, work a job, work a job, retire. That's not what it is anymore. Now, let me tell you something. Many of you have found a career, you've paved a way, and you love what you do. I'm not talking to you. Don't give that up, okay? You worked really, really hard. But there are some of us, I was just on the phone with a new business partner who is in 2024 making $30,000 a year. She's struggling. She's so frustrated. She's committed years to that job. And when she heard my story and just, she had so much hope. And realizing now that we have got to think out of the box in 2024, right? So Mary Kay might not be your end-all be-all. Kayla Shaw is not saying give up your job that you worked hard for, okay? But I am saying you can find a way to fit Mary Kay in. You might not be impressed by the $19,600 a month. You may have seen more. You may have a comfortable life. But what are you going to be able to pass on to your children? Because it's surely not going to be a J-O-B, okay? My mom is able to pass on her career. She has a um, family insurance um, jig, thingamajig, like a package, retirement with her national position. And so there are actual benefits that she can pass on to me as her offspring sales director and her offspring daughter. So it is a, an actual family business. So I just want to ask you, why not you being in that 11%? It's 2024. If they can go and shake a leg on TikTok and make great money, why can't you learn a little bit about skincare and makeup? We don't touch faces and simply share your knowledge with other women and help them to build confidence in their own image. That's what we do in Mary Kay. We help them to dream again. We help them to feel beautiful. We give them top tier skincare regimens. And it is so fun, right? Like this is what we do for work. And so I just challenge you regardless of if you feel that you're confident and comfortable already in your life and maybe you're just looking for some extra fun or maybe if you're thinking, wow, this really does sound interesting. I want you to consider, regardless of if you wear makeup and you're a glam girl, or if you are the most natural beauty queen, okay, of 2024, there is a place for you. You just have to be willing, you have to be coachable, and you have to be open-minded. Um, like National Janice shared with you, it is only $35 to start your business. I tell people, I will literally give you that back if you decide it's not for you. But what's the worst that can happen? You get 50% off of your own products, 50%. And so I don't wanna go over my time. I really have enjoyed sharing my journey with you all. Um, National Janice, is there anything else you'd like for me to share? Oh my gosh, you are amazing, Kayla. But I will tell you, it's called a family security program. Not what Thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> so what Kayla is talking about is in 16 months, I will officially retire from Mary Kay. Because I'm, I know I'm getting old. What happened? Anyway, I, I was, was your age. That's, I mean, I came in when I was 22. Just a long story. But anyway, so you just never know, Kayla. And, you know, to think about, we have a family security program. And that when I retire, the company pays me until I'm 
80 years old. The thing about that is that we did not have to pay a dime into it. You know how you have your 401k? We don't have to do that. So I'm really grateful for that. And if you are working in another country, you get extended 12 years. So I'm currently working in Europe and, and Mexico. So I have 12 years in two extra countries if I want to. So, you know, Kayla, I just, I've seen you grow up from a little Mary Kay baby, not the baby baby, but you know, when you first, you know, and then seeing you around and what a year you've had. And I just want to say congratulations. So um, Kayla, oh my gosh. And I, we're the same seminar. So I'll get to see you at seminar and uh, parade around there. I'm sure your mom is super proud of your year this year. Yes.